with the record, it's not like there's a concept running through it or not all the songs are about the same topic. They're all about different people from different places or different circumstances that a lot of people could relate to. Um, I say when you work with different singers on every track, you couldn't really name the album one thing that would tie them all in together because yeah. everyone wants to say different stuff. Yeah, it, you know, I think if we, if we did that thing and we wrote all the songs just us and then sent the songs out and said sing it, it, maybe we could do it, but because we sit down with all the singers and say like, well, what do you want to talk about? Like, what's been going on? And then we write a song. There's so many different topics covered on the record that we just thought we might as well mm. just choose something that's not related to the songs, really. And it's just visually Just awesome. visually good. And yeah. it ties in nicely with the whole wildlife thing that we've got going on with the festival. And so, yeah, it just seemed appropriate. Not turn up, not turn up. Track one on the record um, is a song called Nocturnal and uh, it features The Weeknd. So yeah, we were just mutual fans, so we just hooked it up through the label and the management. Yeah, because um, you know, you never know what you're going to get with, with big yeah. successful artists. Like, sometimes they turn up on their own, like Sam Smith, he'll just walk to your session. You know, occasionally with, with a really big star, it's like they could come with like three security guards and like a team of people yeah. to like get them coffee. Well, they have people sitting yeah. in the room while you, while you work. It's like, well, I don't really want that. Yeah. But he was, his guys just went and chilled and we just wrote something, it was wicked. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's the one of the more experimental records as well. Like, as a whole <coughs> instrumental, you know, there's no singing for like mm. two minutes. Oh, it's six <laughs> minutes fifty as well. It's definitely yeah. the longest track, so it's definitely one of our favourites. But at the same time, probably one of the furthest away ones from the old sound. You know, it's quite slow and the drums are a bit different. But I think people are going to get it. <laughs> Track two uh, is a song called Omen, um, which features the familiar voice of Sam Smith. I think for me, more than anything, it was just like a proud thing to make. It kind of proved to me that you know, Latch wasn't just like a one-time thing. All we wanted to do was try and make something that we thought was better and like musically interesting and, and different. You know, we didn't want to try and make Latch two. We just wanted to make music with Sam again. And I think by by doing Omen, like I think we've all realised that we're going to work together like for a long time. Sam had been on tour for a year, we'd been on tour for two years, so we'd not even really hung out. But even saying that, even after talking about all the things that we'd done in the last few years, it was still like that didn't influence the songwriting in any way. Like, as soon as we got around the piano, it was like, oh right, this is exactly the same as first time. Like, yeah. We're all just sat around saying ideas. There's no, there's no ego in the room. Like we're all just still exactly the same people. It was like we nothing had happened. It's like you just haven't won all those Grammys. We haven't just been around the world together. It was just like back in Rygate. Track six is called Magnets and it features the wonderful Lord. Um, yeah, that was the last song we wrote for the record. In fact, the record was actually done and we were like kind of in the, in the last bits of mixing it and getting it ready for mastering. And then she hit us up being like, I'm coming to London, do you want to do a session? We were like, definitely yes, but it, this is going to be tight. We were going back and forwards um, after we'd recorded it and after it was fully finished, sent it to her and she was just like, needs more drums, needs mm. this, needs that. Really, really involved in the music. She, she's incredibly um, opinionated and like she knows exactly what she wants with, with music, uh, which is amazing considering how young she is. 